Hi, I'm Taryn and welcome to my channel. For those of you that are new, I make a lot of skincare focused beauty content as well as fashion and life content. If that interests you, please be sure to check out my other videos, like this video and subscribe. This week's comment of the week goes to Maria and the comment reads, have you tried the Equate Sunscreen for All Skin Tones SPF 50 for face and body? Made specifically for skin of color. OMG, I love it. Smooth, no white cast, doesn't peel. Only thing, it looks too shiny on the face, so I have to set it with a setting powder, and then it's perfect. Affordable too and big too. Thank you so much for that comment. I really do appreciate it. I love when you guys recommend different products for me or just have a lot of tips and suggestions, so I always appreciate it. This comment is the basis for this video, I'm going to be doing a demo, first impressions, and review of the Equate sunscreen for all skin tones. As always, before I jump into a review, I'm going to tell you more about the product. So on the package, it says Equate sunscreen for all skin tones, but on the walmart.com website, it says Equate ultra light broad spectrum SPF lotion for all skin tones, SPF 50, eight fluid ounces. The Walmarts in my area have this sunscreen retailing at $4.98 and for eight fluid ounces, that's pretty big. By the unit, this is 62.3 cents per fluid ounce. On the back of the bottle and on the website, it reads, Equate Sunscreen for All Skin Tones SPF 50 Lotion has been created for daily use for people of color. With natural moisturizers, this sunscreen lotion hydrates skin as it protects. The sheer sunscreen dries clear and protects skin from the sun's harmful UVA and UVB rays. The active ingredients are avobenzone, homosalate, oxazolate, and octocrylene. And the purpose of those ingredients is sunscreen. The sunscreen can be used on the face and on the body. It's water resistant for 80 minutes and is free of parabens, oxybenzone, and not to not sates. In this video, I do a demo of the sunscreen followed by my first impressions and then I reapply it throughout the day and show you guys how it held up. My first impression is that it is somewhat difficult to get the sunscreen out of the bottle. It's a squeeze tube and it does take a minute. The consistency of the sunscreen is pretty thick and I think that's the culprit of why it's not as seamless of a exit out of the bottle. The second thing is that it does have a fragrance to it. So if you are sensitive to fragrances, I would avoid the sunscreen. I find the fragrance to be light and subtle. I still smell it, so it hasn't dissipated, but I wonder if it's because I applied a lot of the sunscreen to my hands and my body, so maybe it's just stronger overall. I think the sunscreen worked its way very nicely into the skin on both my face and my body. I didn't have any peeling. I don't have a white cast. It definitely worked its way in the skin very nice and beautifully. It feels like a lotion. I don't find it to be greasy, sticky, and overall it feels very light. It feels nice on my face. It feels nice on my body. And now I'm about to go walk my dog and then I'll come back to show you how it looks. Overall, I do have a very positive first impression of this sunscreen. So this is after the walk. I feel like the sunscreen held up nicely. I didn't sweat that much, but it is 73 degrees right now. So there is a little bit of sweat, but you know, it's nothing too terrible. I'm gonna continue throughout my day wearing the sunscreen. I'm gonna run some errands and clean, and then I will keep updating you guys throughout the day of how the sunscreen is holding up and how it reapplies and all that good stuff. Okay, so it's time for my second application of the day. You can see a little bit that the sunscreen is kind of getting to the creases of my neck, but I have been cleaning a lot today and then I did go work out. So there was probably some perspiration on my neck and it probably settled in. And then it is kind of flaking a bit on my nose, but keep in mind that I'm on sure and one and the weather has been up and down. So that really just could be it. I probably have just a little bit of dry skin, but I'm gonna go ahead and apply some more of the sunscreen. And again, you have to put a little bit of pressure to get it to come out. So I'm just gonna start off with this much. So it looks okay, the application went smoothly. I am still really enjoying this sunscreen and I think it may very well be a part of my routine. The second application of the sunscreen went on very well. I am definitely enjoying the sunscreen and I can't wait to see how it holds up at the end of the day. 
I'm at the end of my day and I've had this sunscreen on for a while now. I went on a walk, I ran errands, I washed my car, I cleaned. I've done a lot today and the sunscreen has held up pretty nicely. The scent of the sunscreen is no longer lingering and I love that this is suitable for all skin tones. Thank you so much to Maria for leaving that comment. I am in love with the sunscreen. This is something that you can just pick up. It was kind of hard for me to find it in Walmart. It was on like the top shelf and luckily the kind associate helped me get it off the shelf. I love this sunscreen. I would give it an A plus because of its affordability, the size of the product, as well as the fact that it is suitable for all skin tones. The only issue that I have, which really isn't an issue, is that it is pretty difficult for the sunscreen to get out of the bottle. But on the other side, it's kind of a good thing because you have more control over how much product you use. And it will also be more difficult for the product to accidentally leave out the product. Say you accidentally like sit on it, step on it, smush it, something. But I love this sunscreen and I will continue to use it. And I hope that they continue this product because I definitely like it more than the other Equate sunscreen that I used on this channel that I did a review on. That sunscreen I felt like had a lot of peeling and I haven't had that issue with this sunscreen. I know I did get a comment saying that the new formula of that previous Equate sunscreen didn't peel, but that was just my first impression of trying that product. And I'm really excited to see how this holds up in the future. I highly recommend trying out this sunscreen if you are able to head over to your Walmart or shop from walmart.com. I think this is a great sunscreen for those of us that are active, whether that's be exercise, gardening, swimming, etc. I think this is a great sunscreen to have if you do spend a lot of time outdoors because it is a lot of product for a small price. It is also a sunscreen that you can easily go and pick up. That is if you do have a Walmart near you. I'm sure it's available to be shipped from walmart.com. Also, I would like to add that it is difficult to find a sunscreen that does not leave a white cast at an affordable price. So I definitely think this is a sunscreen that will probably become one of my go-tos and something that I pick up every so often. My intention of buying this sunscreen is to use it similar to how I use the Super Goop Play sunscreen, which is basically if I'm going to the beach, if I'm gonna be outdoors, it comes in a huge bottle, at least I buy it in a huge bottle and I apply it. But this is definitely a better deal than that sunscreen. I wouldn't necessarily say it's a dupe for it. I think the texture of the Super Goop Play sunscreen is a little bit more fluid. It melts into the skin a little bit better than this one does. This one does have to be worked into the skin a little bit, but it's not super difficult or anything. Just in comparison to that sunscreen, I will say that the Super Goop has a better texture to it. I really appreciate that this sunscreen is for all skin tones. That is super important to me. And it's also very important to have an affordable sunscreen that can be worn on all skin tones and complexions and be easily accessible to people. I think that is super important when it comes to skincare. I would give the sunscreen an A plus because it's affordable. It's a lot of product. It goes well on the complexion. It looks beautiful. I would probably prefer it for my body rather than my face, but on my face, I don't think it was necessarily bad. I can definitely see how the sunscreen could be on the side of a little bit shiny on the face, but as Maria said, she applied a powder over it and it was fine. If you do decide to wear makeup over it, I would apply a setting powder over it. Or if you are gonna be out the day and you just want a neutral face, just apply a light translucent powder over it if you so choose. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Have you tried out this sunscreen? Have you even heard about it? Do you like the sunscreen? Let me know what you think. As always, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment for more videos. Thank you again.